गाइस वेलकम टू फर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई क्रिएट रियली कूल कैमरा स्लो मोशन एनिमेशन इन सिनेमा 4D सो फर्स्टली गाइस आई टेक क्यूब एंड गाइस चेंज क्यूब साइज साइज आई टेक लाइक 20 20 एंड 20 एंड नाउ आई क्रिएट स्मूथनेस सो फिलेट चेक एंड फिलेट रेडियस आई टेक 2 सेंटीमीटर 2 एंड फिलेट सब डिवीजन आई टेक 10 Guys, go to display, select out shading lines. Yes. And now I take cloner. This one. Guys, select this cube and make child with cloner. Yeah. Guys, select cloner and change mode. Use grid array. Yes. And decrease the size. Like this. Guys, more. Yes, 40 is good. Guys, all size take 40, 40 and 40. Yeah, and guys, again I change mode. This time I take first step and create counts like this, right, guys? So height lines, yes, that's better. And create like this. Yeah, see, guys, that's my cubes, right? Okay. Now I take base, so I take cylinder and guys, you can hide, go to down, smaller, guys, I take height like one and increase this radius like this. Yeah, that's better and increase rotation segments. Yeah, guys, go to down, go to right view panel and attach on here yes right guys that's it okay now guys i take this time spare for tigger go on here and radius i take like 35 yes increase segments i take like 50 yeah okay right guys that's my animation so now I apply my C4D Studio Light. So I go to File and Merge. Guys, select C4D Studio Light and go on here. Apply. Guys, Floor and Background and Down. Like this. Yes. Right. Okay. Guys, all is good. Now I apply Tags. I create Animation. So guys, I increase frame, frame I take like 500 and 500 is good. Guys, firstly, select this pair, this one and I apply rigid body tag. Go to simulation tag and use rigid body, right? And I go to all is good, dynamic and guys, go to here, actually I go to 100 frames. 100 and dynamic off right and press this animation key dynamic check guys go to 101 frame this one and dynamic on and press this animation key right see guys i show you go to play yeah right that's so easy guys Okay, great. Okay, so guys, I change this custom velocity. So custom velocity, this my trigger, that's my position. So last position, I take like 5000. Go to back and play. Yes, great. See guys, right? That's my spare. One more time, I show you. See, that's my tiger and check right. Okay, so guys, also apply tag on this cloner. This one, right click, simulation tag, and same rigid body. But guys, this time, inheritance tag, apply tag to children and all. Yeah, and guys, friction, I take zero and increase bounce. Bounce, I take like 80%. So go to dynamic 
and Tigger use on collision. Actually, play. Yeah, great. Right? Okay. So, guys, also apply collider tag on this cylinder. Yes. Yeah, great. Right, guys? Okay. And last one, guys, go to flow and background. Select this flow. Apply collider tag. And play. Yes. Right? See, guys, that's so easy tutorial, guys. Okay. So, guys, you can change little bit this position. So, select this pair and up like this. Yeah, that's one much better. Great. Okay. So, guys, my first step is complete. Now, I create stop motion animation like slow motion animation. So, guys, go to mode here and go to project this one. And I go to dynamic. Guys, see, that's my time scale. Guys, go to here. I go to 110 frame. 110. See, guys, that's my frames. Right? And now, press this animation key, time scale, 100% and check. Guys, go to like this time, 130. See, guys, 130 frames and time scale, I take 0 and press this animation key. Right. So go to back and play. Yeah. See guys. That's my motion. Stop motion. Right. Okay. So guys this time I go to like 230 frames and time scale check. Guys go to 250 frame. 250. And time scale I take. 100% and check. Yes. So go to play. Yeah. See guys. That's my motion. Right. Okay. So guys create one more time. So guys this time I go to like 270. I go to 270 frame and time scale same. Check. Go to 290 frame. To 90 and time scale I take 0 and check right guys I increase more frame like I go to 380 frame and time scale 0 check and I go to 400 frame and time scale I take 100% and check right but guys I know this is much tricky so Go to window and F curve tool and full frame. Guys, go to dynamic and see guys, that's my graph. See, right? And uncheck, that's my time scale graph editor. Guys, see, that's my animation. It's zero frame, it's stop motion, right? So go to back and play. Yeah, see guys, that stop and after that stop and play, right? Okay, so guys, animation is good and go to back and play. Yeah, great. Right guys, okay. So guys, my second animation is finished. Now, I create third animation. My third animation is camera moving. So check. Guys, go to zero frame and camera angle like this. And select this camera. Only camera, press this animation key. Guys, go to 100 frames, 100. And camera angle like this. Like this. And check. 
guys go to 200 frames 200 and camera angle like this and check guys go to 300 frames 300 and camera go on here and check guys go to like last and camera go on here and check right so play see guys that's my final animation yeah great nice see guys that's really good okay so guys now i apply material so i go to load material select and open guys you can apply any material i apply white so color i take full apply on cloner and blue material on cylinder red material on spare yeah guys you can change also light so select flow and background select over at soft box and you can change light color i take like blue like this right and soft box i take like red yeah right okay play great guys little bit change spare position select the spare and little bit down little bit yeah and play great see guys that's my stop motion animation nice right okay guys all is good i go to render setting MB occlusion, global illumination, indirectly KHA, I take low, anti select only geometry, I take JPEG sequences, create new folder, take any file name, and use all frame. That's it. And render, press OK. Right, guys? Okay, so guys, my animation is finished. So if you like my video, please share and subscribe my YouTube channel. And guys, you can download this project file material from my website. It's free. Thank you.